Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. Today we are going to talk about the D of the solid principles and with this video we are actually ending the solid principles. We have made the videos and seen in our past four videos about the S O L I. In the last video we talked about the detail thing. So with this D, let's see what this D means. So the the D in the solid means the dependency inversion principle now what does this dependency inversion principle mean this simply means that the modules should depend on abstractions rather than depending on detail now focus on this word detail now let's see this with the help of an example now suppose there is a class called manager and a manager like you know can have different types of people under him he can have a uh, if he's a software development manager, he would have some developers, he would have some testers and all sorts of things. So let's suppose this manager class has functions like add developer, add tester. Now for each type of person or employee, we have a separate class called like developer and tester. Now what's wrong with this code? Now suppose next day this manager has also also wants to a QA under him or let's suppose he needs a designer under him. Now what we would have to do, we would have to change this and introduce another function called void uh, called add designer or add QA whatever. So in this the class manager has to know the details of what type of person is being reported to him. Even though in real world the person should know who are reporting to him but uh, from the class perspective this class should not know all the employees which are under him it should treat all the employees as employees only and not have these distinctions otherwise for each type of employee we would have to add more functions keep on adding and that would create the code very messy and that's why we change this into something using the dependency inversion principle Let's suppose what we do, we simply create a function called add employee. Let's do void add employee and it's just take an employee and that's all. Just one function, the manager does not need to know who was, who, what's the type of this employee. And now for other th employees, we can simply create a abstract class. In, uh, in create whatever functions that we want void let's just name it fun for now and we can simply derive the other functions other class other types of employees different types of employees like developer or we introduce a designer we simply have to inherit this class and that's simply we can create these types of employees and whenever we want we can create more employees now in these solid principles what you would have learned or noticed that these kind of overlap with each other like you would think that this this principle kind of is matching to this kind of principle but each of this has their own different purpose and I hope I was able to make it clear in all the videos and I hope you liked this one and all the other solid videos. If you did press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more valuable content. Uh, the next few videos will also be on some on LLD, some on HLD. Uh, let me know if you want to see something special in the comments down below. See you in the next one. <laughs>